Fellas. Yes, yes. Beds on second and third floor. Showers and laundry in basement. Whatever. Uh, store. Well, there's a computer. It's security three. I don't know if I can get in there. Do I have the uh, code for it? No, I don't. Let's just go. Alright. Jensen, I I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you I got this one. I know. I, I didn't do anything. Mm. Trust me. Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? No. She can't. Of course, but I can tell something's bothering you. And I'm concerned. What's going on? I just... I just had to look into something. For a friend. She... She deserved better. I'm listening. Fine, since you're so damn curious. I am. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. There are a lot it's of right stairs. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Look, okay. Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. All right. Let's get the details, though. Let's let's ask about this. You said you've seen the police report. Who gave it to you? An old friend who was also a good friend of Evelyn's. He used to work for the Shanghai PD. He left a copy of it along with a few other things concerning Evelyn in a pod here for me to look at. He also left some instructions on how to contact someone at Lim for the autopsy report he's convinced was intentionally buried. Why would Lim have anything to do with Evelyn's autopsy report? Well, if you haven't noticed, the Chinese government has been outsourcing branches of its public services for years. Bell Tower polices the streets, and nowadays Lim does more than just cosmetic surgery. They're often contracted for special cases like Evelyn's. And what made Evelyn's case so special, you think? Her boyfriend, Lee. He was at the scene. He had Evelyn's blood on him and tested positive for alcohol and drugs in his system. With his rap sheet, it wasn't looking good for him. But his family, they're on a lot of boards with deep pockets and a lot of reach. They wouldn't suffer the embarrassment of having their son indicted on a suspected murder charge. Okay. Why do you suspect Evelyn's boyfriend had something to do with her death? Because he was poisoned, right from the start. Aside from Born being covered in her blood. influence, but never once assuming responsibility for anything. I don't think he's worked an honest day in his life. So he was a wealthy, pig-headed asshole. If that was reason enough to accuse someone of murder, half the world would be in the pen. No, there's more to it than that. He's known for violent outbursts, domestic altercations. He nearly killed a kid over some stupid gambling feud. The problem is, his family made him untouchable, even to the police. And Evelyn was okay with all of this? She... always tried to see the good in people, give him the benefit of the doubt. You could say that's just being naive or even stupid, but I think she was just... innocent. Tell me about Evelyn. She was beautiful, carefree, loved to have a good time. I met her during my internship for a private transportation and logistics firm here in Shanghai. She was a great pilot, too. Knew how to feel the currents, to push the bird just so. Too bad her talents for reading the wind didn't translate to reading guys. How so? She was always getting into trouble with the wrong crowds. And it always had to do with some boy. 
She knew I didn't like him, her boyfriend at the time, Lee. Yes. It drove a wedge between us, and when we parted ways, it wasn't amicable. I understand. She was a good girl, Jensen. She deserved better. Okay. Uh, details. This autopsy report. Once you got your hands on it, what were you planning on doing next? I... I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm a pilot, not a cop. But I just... I felt I had to do something while I had the chance. Maybe once you get the report and we know what it says, we can... Improvise. Okay. I don't care about the reward, it's fine. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. Uh-huh. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hangshaw Lim Clinic. Does this guy okay. have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. <laughs> I know, wow. I know. Anonymous X. Okay. Amazing. Anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's incident newspaper articles the police report limb details it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel you should read over everything if you can pod nine got it i need to go contact me with any updates and thank you i really appreciate this jensen what a terrible name i mean at least like zero cool and crash and burn sound sound kind of Cool, but um, as soon as the installation is anonymous X. Jesus. Are you a store that I can use, sir? That would be a no. I can, I can stop RP walking for now. Sir, are you a store? No, you're not. Hey. You know where I can find some goods? Maybe. What about candy? Any good stuff around here? You may want to check out the storage locker there. Someone near there may be able to help you find what you're looking for. Storage locker where? Ah, storage locker's on the bottom. I need to go down. <laughs> ah, you buy or sell? I do it all. Look at a computer and see for yourself. Great. Acquire credits. <laughs> I'm going to sell this. I'm going to sell this. We're going to sell this beer. I'm never going to use it. I can sell the target leading system too because I don't have anything to put it on anymore. I already have it on my um, Trank gun. Uh, we will buy a pack of five Trank darts. We will buy a pack of stun gun darts. We will buy some stop. This one is fine. Rate of fire. I think I've already got that on something. I don't think I'm going to buy that. Silent sniper rifle. Pips. Knock down multiple opponents at once. May result in targets falling unconscious. So is, this is like what? a An AoE stun gun? I think I'll just keep the stun gun. I mean, peps seems interesting. Don't get me wrong. But I would need to get ammo for it.
And, uh, you know, I don't know. If I need... I, I, I can already take out, like, two people at once, I think, at the moment. So, I'm not going to worry too much about it. I don't really want any of these grenades. Uh, maybe I'll buy another stop. Maybe a couple nukes. You know what? Let's friggin' buy out your quantity of, of hacking stuff, because I need that. Yeah, I will be right here. Yeah, yeah, I'm right, right, right here. That wasn't that wasn't making fun of a Chinese accent. That was that guy just speaks badly. Uh, do I have too many bullets? Buy more trank darts, I guess. More trank darts is never a bad thing. I can sell one of my things of uh, ammos. Playing inventory testers right now. Hope you don't mind. Just, uh, no, just no. Uh, uh, uh. What is this? Oh, automatic unlocking device. We'll put. Uh, Put these with this. Put these over here. Stun gun darts up here. Too many bullets can be a problem when it uses up a lot of inventory space, but we have a lot of inventory space. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm not going to sell the bullets. All right. Uh, storage. Let's go down. I'm circulating a petition to have two women on the second floor of the West Wing. Fire escape. Will you sign? It's very obvious they're involved in prostitution. I know this is not exactly a five-star hotel, but if people want escorts, they can go to the Honghua. Okay, where are I sign? <laughs> You're referring to the Penchea project. me hungry again. Where do I go down? It's time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. Our best chance There's a go up over there. Down. Okay, I need to go down this way. Bye, giant nerd guy. I can't, though. Is there another way in? Maybe look for a, a vent. There could also be a vent uh, somewhere else, another... Um... I don't see a vent in here. I mean, I can try to do this. I guess I'll try to um, hack this. It actually doesn't look that bad. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, my God. That was so close. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, J Mary and Joseph. Uh, let's not talk to that guy. That guy's going to be mad. Dragon heads, the triads of the 21st century. A traditional form. The original eightfold rank structure among the triads became more streamlined in the modern era. Mo in the modern era. With such traditions at the, as the 36 great oaths of fealty falling out of favor to be replaced with less ornate, more immediate pledges to loyalty. The contemporary four-tier system reflects the flexibility of the triad criminal enterprise, with a mixture of numeral designators and or traditional honorifics assigned to given roles. At the very lowest level of the probationary members, often drawing from youth gangs, these so-called Blue Lanterns become rank-and-file 49 after an initiation ceremony. Above them are the key administrators or enforcers, 
the White Paper Fan, 415, the Red Pole, 426, the Straw Sandal, 432. At command level comes the Vanguard, Deputy Mountain Master, and Incense Master, such as 438. And finally, the Mountain Master, also known as the Dragon Head, 489. Interesting. My Diary by Cho Jian. So tired of this place. Day in, day out, solving problems for a bunch of whiny losers. Fix my sink. Unblock my toilet. I'll tell you dumbasses what. Don't flush dope baggies and bottle caps down the john and it won't overflow. I did a graduate degree in engineering for this. I just gotta get out of this place. This shitty hotel is really getting me down. All I've gotta do is save enough money to get out of here and I'll never have to see this place again. Two more years, that's it. I'm gone. It'll be lo Goodbye, Lower Hangshaw. Hello, sunshine and fresh air. I had to fix door, Deng's front door again. This makes the third time in two weeks. He keeps on coming home drunk, unable to find his keys, and then kicks in the door. This place is driving me nuts. I can't wait to get out. Security rating two. We can do this one. Easy. I mean, we just did a three. We can do a two. I mean, either way, I'm going to have to go through four, so I might as well go this way. What does spam do again? I actually don't remember. Decreases diagnostic subroutines rating by one. It's definitely going to do it, though. We're going to skip that for now. Oh, no. Okay. Access granted. Ooh. Well, a thousand credits! You know what? A thousand friggin' credits for that. Good thing I bought those nukes. Alright, I guess we're gonna go upstairs. Because that's like the only place that we can go right now. Maybe there'll be a way down uh, from there. Fire escape as well. Can we go out of the fire escape? Uh, ah. Oh. Well, someone just left a hundred friggin' credits in this couch. I'm going to go to a hotel where someone leaves a hundred freaking credits someplace. If, if credits were a thing. There's uh, kids using their phones. That's, that's, that's very realistic. Let's be honest here. That's extremely realistic. Look at secretary. Judging by the amount of dust that's been accumulating on my filing cabinet's desktop and chair, I'm thinking you forgot the access code to my office door. Now get in there and clear... Oh, I should I could have just... I guess I could have used that uh, code to get in the office door, but we've already hacked it, so... Doesn't matter. Hey. Okay, I think they are prostitutes. That lady's right. Uh, Misumi, father is very worried about you. He says uncle was in Hengshaw on business and went to visit you at your new workplace. When he saw what kind of hotel it was, he refused to walk inside. He says there's no way the Hotel Hunghua would hire a beautiful girl like you just to sweep rooms. What are you doing, my sister? I know it must be very expensive living in the big city like Hengsha, but surely you would not stoop so low to make rent. Please, sister, write back and tell us it's not true. It's probably true. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. You're very busy just sitting there doing nothing. I know what you have in there. I don't know what you're talking about. I saw you with Ferret in your shirt the other day. You know pets ferret? are not allowed in hotel. That's not true! I tell Mr. Chow if you not get rid of it. You're a very mean lady. <laughs> you're a very mean lady. This message has not been sent. Dearest wife, I cannot take it any longer. I cannot go on living in this cramped, tiny place. I cannot keep pretending that my life will get better and you and I will be reuni re reunited. My will and determination to fight have left me. I have reached the end of the line, but I feel peace and calm. I'm grateful that I can now go to sleep. I do not feel guilt ending a life which no longer holds any hope. Physically and emotionally, I am defeated and unable to cope. Please tell the children that I love them. 
My love for you and for them will never falter. By the time you read this, I will have disappeared from your lives. The streets of Hangshaw will be the last place anyone will ever see me. Brave, I will see you on the other side. Ooh, uh. You have ferrets in here, though? I mean, that's kind of sad. Why don't you just go back? Maybe you can't. I don't know. I don't know what that guy's situation is. Maybe he, maybe he can't. Maybe he's screwed. I, you know, I can't help everybody. But I wish that I could. I would help them. And, it's time and then I would also stepped up to make things steal from them. But I mean, you know, help isn't free. How to win at Mahjong. The basics. It is a mistake to think Mahjong is a game of pure luck. Blah, 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 blah. Do I actually have to play Mahjong? I don't... I mean... I can. I guess. Don't know that I could win. Like, you don't need those tranquilizer darts anyway. Run. Be a nice little mini game to play. I'm taking so much money from these people. Fly girl, the limb contact has agreed to meet you tonight. I don't know how large or small this window of opportunity is or how long it will remain to us, but it's the only thing we have to go on. Hopefully we can trust him. He holds the biggest piece of this puzzle. Sorry I can't be of any more help on this. As much as it pains me to see Lee walk, my hands are tied. If my supervisor found out that I was even talking about this, he'd have my badge. I've attached a copy of the police report, filed on the night of the incident. The original transcript has been practically gutted by IAD, as you will no doubt see. The autopsy report should help fill in the blanks. P.S. You owe me a pocket secretary. Uh, this is the information. I guess I found the uh, number nine. Uh, incident. 23-year-old Caucasian female. DOA from probable fall downstairs. Only witness is boyfriend who was found at the scene. Evelyn Carmichael. Severe head trauma. Cranial lacerations. Internal bleeding. Swelling. Likely cause of death. Suspects Lee Hong. Uh, on at approximately... 2349, personnel from the LHPF responded to a distress call from uh, Lee Hong upon arrival at the scene. The responding officer witnessed Evelyn Carmichael on the ground near the place. Victim was unresponsive. First response EMT unit on scene pronounced victim deceased uh, just after midnight. Victim was transported to the place for further evaluation. Suspect wearing a shirt covered in what appeared to be victim's blood was questioned by responding officer Sergeant Maji. Suspect was visibly distressed, claiming victim had been drinking prior to the incident and had fallen. Suspect was arrested, confirming suspicion of intoxication. Suspect was then detained and transported to a place for further questioning after EMP unit cleared him. Suspect later claimed incident occurred moments before LHPF's emergency call. Roughly between 2340 and 2345, further screening and urinalysis revealed narcotic element EXT9. Uh, he remained in custody. Forensic evidence at the scene turned up inconclusive data to support a suspect's claim. Blood spatter analysis concluded that while blood cast-off patterns matched those of a fall, there was no evidence of a low to medium velocity impact spatter to match a victim's wound and the probable cause of death. Blunt force head trauma and intracranial hemorrhaging. Further investigation into the case are suspended until post-mortem evaluation and autopsy is concluded. Pending further evidence, suspect is clear. Prosecution. Hmm. Also, there's this. Rooftop pitfalls claim another. Evelyn Carmichael, a young woman in her early 20s, became one of the latest... Can I turn this off? Let's... let's... It's like... can't... can't... Uh, it's like he's talking too loud. Became one of the lightest victims claimed by the deadly uh, Yozao rooftops that have authorities clamoring for stricter safety regulations and zoning permits. Sources close to the victim say Evelyn had been out celebrating with her boyfriend before the incident occurred. A witness whose identity was not released claims she slipped and fell while descending one of the many staircases that connect the Yozao and uh, Qui-Gon roofs with Pandar uh, Pandang Street below. 
Police believe alcohol or drugs may have influenced the fatal accident, but officials claim the tragedy could have been avoided entirely if laws were different. With elections just around the corner, of Lynn's death will no doubt. Blah, blah blah. She fell. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. Are these numbered? I didn't realize that these were actually numbered. I'm realizing that now. I'm realizing that all these pods are numbered now. Alright, let's let's look around some more. There's so much to look around and see in this place. That's okay. I mean, I can understand you anyway. You can speak whatever language you want. <laughs> Screw you too, buddy. 